Minister Abi Khan and opposition leader Wab Kanu are sticking to their version of events, even after a video of the April 13th interaction between the two men was released. Khan says Kanu grabbed him, swore at him, and shoved him in the stomach at a Turban Day event. Kanu says there was a tense interaction but denies swearing at or shoving Khan. A security video shot from across the rotunda at the legislative building sheds little light on which version of events, if any, are true. Christopher Adams is an adjunct professor in political studies at the University of Manitoba. Good morning. Good morning, Stephanie. Nice to be with you again today. What did you think when you saw the video? Well, I, I thought it, it, it covered really what, what, I, what I thought would would. would I thought I saw. Well, I did see what I thought I would see. Uh, you, you could see shaking hands, and then and then Abi Khan being pulled to the leader of the opposition's uh, chest or stomach, and 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 uh, Wab Kanu talking into his ear. Uh, but you know, you don't know what what uh, Wab is saying, and and uh, and you don't know the details of you know what was transpiring right in that spot. Now, I'm not a forensic scientist. I'm a political scientist, but I'm. Um, it wasn't a surprising thing to see. I, I should say that that you know it could be that that both versions, uh, whether you're listening to Abi Khan the minister or Wab Kanu the leader, um, both both versions of their stories seem to be um, stretches of what what I would imagine. I you you can see Wab Kanu speaking into the ear of Abi Khan, and you can bet that they aren't uh, sweet nothings. At the same time, it, it wasn't didn't look like a violent interaction, so it, I wasn't surprised when I saw that video. What's your take on what each party is saying that the video backs up each man's claim? Well, I, I would say that the progressive conservatives moving into an October third election are uh, going to take advantage of this situation that uh, to portray as they have before. Wab Kanu is an angry man, uh, misogynist, and all that, and and I I think that. Uh, Wab Kanu will will uh, continue to portray himself as a dignified leader of the of the opposition. So, so both parties will be uh, spinning different things out of this. But I I think that the PCs uh, will be spinning more out of this simply because they're in trouble uh, in the polls and will be trying to make the most of of, uh, of besmirching Wab Kanu's reputation. The Tories continue with their message track about Wab Kanu. Let's take a listen to what Abi Khan told the CBC's Ian Phrase. Why are we talking about the shove? Let's look at Wab's history and my history. We know he has a history of violence, abuse, treats people poorly. Um, and yet I'm the one having to defend myself for a shove. What do you think of the PC's campaign to remind Manitobans about Kanu's past? Well, I, I think that... that uh, um, you know, th- this is spinning, and I think it's also an indication of the the toxic nature of of the current climate in the uh, the Manitoba Assembly. We've had people um, uh, pushing chairs of of other members in the Assembly. Uh, we saw when Wab Kanu rose in the Assembly to to raise this concern of his interaction with Wab Kanu. Audrey Gordon, the Minister of Health, also pointed out that she felt uh, threatened or 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 her space was was. Uh, uh, occupied by Wab Kanu when she was first running against him in the 2016 election. So I think this is part of part part and parcel of of the kind of the declining uh, climate within the the provincial assembly. How do you think the Tories will use the April 13th exchange going forward? Well, I I, I can bet that they they will use it in their uh, messaging as we get towards October 3rd. And, um, I, you know, I expect to see a lot of negative advertising, uh, maybe on both sides of the aisle, uh, go- going up to October 3rd. Uh, you know, Stephanie, the, the, the critical population segment in this coming election, I believe, will be women voters in the suburbs. Uh, we And uh, um, you can bet that the PCs will be having focus groups with women swing voters and will be uh, showing certain advertisements designed to portray Wab Canoe in a different way. On Wednesday, House Speaker Myrna Dreger urged all politicians to behave. She said beyond the April 13th incident, she's uh, noticed a serious lack of decorum in the legislative chamber. What do you think of the conduct we're seeing in the Manitoba legislature? Well, it, it you know, it, many times in, in parliamentary history as well as provincial 
assembly history that the the speaker has called for that and i i do think about about uh previous political eras in manitoba where where the atmosphere was toxic uh and uh between sterling lyon and uh, howard Pauley during the french language debates in the 1980s that was not a that was not a fun time to be in the assembly and and the privatization of mts by the filming government in the 1990s so this comes and goes. I, I think what makes it uh, tougher right now in Manitoba politics is, is I think the the Canoe NDP is is uh, further to the left compared to the Gary Doerr NDP, and so there is an ideological gulf that's I think made bigger in recent years between Pallister and Heather Stephenson's PCs and uh, and the NDP. So that doesn't help. And also the MLAs of the two parties are are from very different backgrounds. Uh, Social, socially and economically, so that doesn't help in in um, making the atmosphere smoother. Why is the environment toxic now at this particular juncture in history? Well, I, well, I mean, people do point at social media and things like that, exaggerating viewpoints of people. But I, I do think that back to my statement is I, I think MLAs are are from different backgrounds in the in the parties. I think that because we're in an election that uh, um, there's no no giving way in that assembly and uh, that the PCs are, uh, according to the polls, might be losing power and the NDP are, are seeking power. So that doesn't make for a very nice atmosphere. I think you can compare um, in some ways our atmosphere in the assembly to the Alberta Assembly because they're in an election year and they, they go to the polls in late May. And uh, there's some very tough battles going on, particularly in Calgary right now. So I, I, I think that uh, um, I, I think that's the election year that makes things much worse. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me this morning. Thanks, Stephanie. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Christopher Adams is an adjunct professor in political studies at the University of Manitoba.